you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to Super and Joseph Show. I'm just coming back from a club. Do you know the type of club you know where I went to? The Laughing Club in Paris. <laughs> Laughing Club in Paris. Now I reached there, the lady just came in and said, Monsieur, you want to join our club? I said, Yes, but what are you doing here? We come here to laugh. <laughs> oh, really? So you come here to laugh? It's strange enough to understand that there is a place people can come, pay, and start to laugh. Yes, yes, because it's good for you. Okay, okay. And how much is it, madam? Oh, we, we just have a simple fee of 45 euro. <laughs> 45 euro for how many hours? Two hours. Two hours will be all right for you, and you will feel good. <laughs> no more stress. Now what she did, she started to teach us how to laugh. That will make you laugh also as you are listening to this program. Now the first thing is she told us to imagine that there are 1,000 people around us and we are in a beach. It's very, very cool. The weather is just beautiful and uh, everybody is laughing. People are laughing. I said, okay, madam, can you teach me how to laugh? And then she started off with her own. <laughs> I say you are crazy, madam. You are crazy because yours is not natural. <laughs> yours is not natural. Where I come from, I come from Africa where people laugh a lot. They laugh from morning until night. And this is why they feel happy, happy every time. Despite the whole hassle, there is no light, bad roads, go slow, or you call it traffic jam, no food, but people are happy. <laughs> Why do you gather people somewhere and teach them how to laugh? Laughing is natural, you don't have to pay to start laughing. No! <laughs> they seem to enjoy it. I left the club. I left the club because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that people should pay to laugh. <laughs> So when I left the club, you know, France, when you move around a little bit here, people are always joking with the weather. Yeah, because there is no subject of conversation. <laughs> I was just at the bus station waiting for my bus, and what happened? Somebody told me, if a boy, huh? But they didn't answer him. He said, mm, "This is not the time to. This is not the time to enter in a in a cock and bull conversation after the hysterical laughing and teaching me how to laugh." And again, I lost forty five euro there. You see, because um, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> Oh, really, Fable? Mm, I didn't study answer him. That means um, it, it's a beautiful day, yeah. It's a beautiful day, yeah. It, it's, it's a bright day. Okay. Then I looked at him. Hey, hello. That means, and so what? Oh, désolé. Excusez-moi. Huh? <laughs> and then the boss rolled in the bus. I can hear a good number of um, 
I had a conversation of uh, two teenagers talking about their girlfriends. <laughs> You can see, you can see, um, and then they were talking about their ex. What? And another girl was talking also about her ex. I said, This is just strange. At the age of 15, you're talking about ex. <laughs> No, you see, the problem is the society where we live in here. The society where we live, there's a lot of divorce. Yes, one out of two marriages end up in divorce. Yes, 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 yes. This is the real statistics that have not invented anything, anything. And this is why the children picked up the vocabulary ex-girlfriend and ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Now, so um, listeners, today you've got enough of uh, Super and Joseph's show. 